What's up guys and welcome to today's video. This is going to be a very different SEMA for me than other SEMAs. One, because I forgot my vlog camera, so I'll be filming on the iPhone, which is usually a good thing because my vlog camera is big and it doesn't fit in my pants well, so I end up just not filming stuff. But this trip is different because I'm not really just going and doing my own thing. I'm here with the RTR crew, so we'll be doing demos. And apart from checking out the show and seeing a lot of the cool stuff that there is to offer, I'll be supporting our partners that supported my RTR program. NGK, Pennzoil, Type Bass, Optima, AutoZone. Spreading the love, spreading the vibes, and I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. This is the setup that we're working with. I think we're drifting around a big battery. Hell yeah, look at that thing. I'm first in line for practice, dude. You're going down. Dude, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch it now. Yo, getting jumps, dude. <laughs> that does not get old. That's an experience. Because I'm, well, I'm like focusing on the line, and then you just see in your peripheral, like just somebody yeah. else. Yeah. That's and crazy. You can hear the ramp, I know. It's like, Doo -doo. <laughs> like oh, man. that's sick. What a good way to start the day. This is your behind the scenes look. We're heading to an Optima signing. And we don't know where we're going. Yeah, we've, our navigator, you know. He's used to oh. off-road navigation. <laughs> this is this is indoors navigation. Excuse me, sir. Do you know where the Optima booth is? <laughs> Pleasantly surprised to stop by the Type S booth and see my FD car here. Actually, straight from Irwindale. Still got some of the battle scars left on her. First featuring Type S's Pro Series LED kits. Pretty cool setup, and I've just been learning about some of the new stuff that they have. Like this bad boy right here. Take this thing to the track. A lot of the things that I can't charge or power with my truck, this thing will power. 500 watt hours. Also been intrigued by some of the rear view mirrors that have cameras built into them. Especially for some of the drift cars where we don't have the ability to see out the rear view. Sir? Hey. I was just talking I was just talking about the rear view mirrors for like cars we have a rear firewall. Oh yeah. I need to do Those it. Those are sick. Yeah. You need one of them. I know. It's no secret that inflation is here and everybody's been cutting back in their own ways. Me, I've been letting go a few sets of my Blitz O3s. All jokes aside, it has had some pretty big implications with both LZMFG and Drift HQ for many reasons. All of us are cutting back how we can, but now, thanks to Upside, the sponsor of today's video, you don't have to. With Upside, you can get cash back on gas, groceries, and even dining out. We've all seen the gas stations raising their prices through the roof. I go on the Upside app, I look our local Shell and Circle K, we can get 35 cents per gallon cash back. May not seem like a lot, but you guys know if you're commuting, that adds up and actually makes the difference between which gas station you're gonna choose. With Upside, you're gonna earn three times more than a traditional credit card cash back program. All you gotta do is check in at the business, pay as usual with a credit card or debit card, and get paid. Users are earning more than a million dollars every week, and that's probably why Upside has a 4.8 average rating on the App Store. I use Upside the most when it comes to gas and restaurants, but I encourage you guys to download the app and see what kind of deals you can take advantage of today. Download the free Upside app and use the code AdamLZ, and you'll get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. I wanna give a massive thank you to Upside for sponsoring this video. I appreciate the support, and I hope it helps you guys earn back some cash. I need you to do the sir thing to, to someone unsuspecting. So Trevor does this thing where he just says this girly sir, and it makes everyone turn. Wait, but how do I film it without like being conspicuous? Well, you look really suspicious. I know, I do. Like, I'm bad. Like I gotta like hold it on my chest. Sir. Oh, I got one. I got one. <laughs> hold on, we need another guy. All right. Sir. Headed to a little cocktail party with the Pennzoil crew. Walking by some of the cars in the evening. Fun to look at outside. I've been running around so crazy. I haven't even been able to really look at any cars here. Definitely not a truck guy, but it's always fun. Uh, <laughs> Kind of looking and seeing what people do with their uh, their big rigs. I'm sure in my video you'll see a lot of different stuff, not the typical build. I'm really into a lot of the custom gangster paintwork, gangster fab work on uh, a lot of little old cars lately. Seems to be what draws my attention. This thing is something else. <laughs> Probably the biggest tires I've seen on an off-road Porsche. Some cool little details too. It definitely makes me sad knowing how much time I put in a lot of these cars, months, some years, and a lot of times I just gotta walk by in passing and glance over for three seconds because I'm running around like a madman. I'm stoked I'm getting to check out TJ's Valside car without a ton of people standing around it. 
Not going to lie, at first I wasn't super excited about this thing, thinking that it was just going to be another Fast and Furious replica in the orange, but TJ put his own flair on it with the Blitz and the British Racing Green. This thing is very, very cool. That paintwork is nuts. Good work, Tej. So an interesting thing about SEMA, there's uh, a lot of networking that happens at the show, but a lot after the show too. So as I said, we just went to a little Pennzoil cocktail party and now we're at Top Golf, meeting up with the team from Garrett. Dorte's here, Colette's here. So, uh, we're gonna talk turbos. I think some of our, our other uh, driver friends are here too. So we'll see who we bump into. This is probably the coldest SEMA I've ever been to. It's like in the 50s and 60s. Usually I'm dying of sweat here running around. Today, cold. Got my Jimmy Oaks beanie on though, so we good. I feel like I'm cheating on TJ by liking C8s that aren't his, but these cars all next to each other just kind of have a cool presence. Even though I'm not a huge C8 guy, it's pretty neat. Day two, second session, not going so hot. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but we had a, a hurt motor in these cars a while back and we replaced it with a stock bottom end just to get through. The team didn't have time to put another fancy motor in it and uh, it just let go. Dude, Rip. Mementos. They're so cute. Yeah. His name is Jim. So you buy three, get one free. So is your fourth one? It's free. It's like a punch card. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Jimmy Oaks just landed. Jimmy, you're a day and a half late. No, I'm here. You know what's funny? What? You've seen more of the show than I have. Really? Dude, I've been running around like a rabid rabbit on the Thursday after Thanksgiving. That poor rabbit. I know, dude. Guess who I am this year? Colette's brother. Yeah. Hey, at least you're not my spouse, right? <laughs> Last year I was. <laughs> but uh, you tell him you blew this thing up? Yeah, Jimmy got here, and then yeah. next thing you know, he pulled out the laptop. And we put the spice in it. Yeah, we the verbal tune did it, I think. Adam did the double foot gas pedal. Yeah, yeah, we it's my new thing. thing. If you haven't seen it on Instagram, yeah. you want to check it out. On. Yep. Sign R. Uh, do you have any more events after this? Yeah. Oh, oops. We've been coming here to SEMA for quite some time and paying our dues, yo. In, in the beginning, these guys, a, a lot of these older guys that come in, it took them a long time to embrace. YouTube. So what do you have? You don't have no gob, you have no goo. Yeah, like the TV, the magazines. <laughs> what, what is this YouTube? But this year, all of a sudden, this new, the, new, the new social, what is it? The, 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 cl the click clock. It's like Vine, but... Next thing you know, the new social media pops up. There's TikTokers everywhere. There's a lot of they love the TikTok, but the YouTubers are getting kicked to the Ooh, curb. That's it. We're basically internet boomers now, bro. Jimmy asked for some free product and they said he didn't have enough TikTok followers. I had to steal the pass. Yeah, he can't even get into the show anymore. I'm downloading TikTok right now. This thing is so good. All the feels with this thing. Maybe this is what I should have done with the red car instead of selling it. Could have just enjoyed it. I feel like I've seen a lot of cool stuff at SEMA so far. I love the coordination. So proud of the boy TJ killing the game. So many cool cars out here. I'm calling this truck the Davis spec truck because if you look real close, the entire truck is glitter. Mm. I'm not gonna touch it because that's rude, but I do like it. <laughs> You're almost there with your golf cart. This is my golf cart? Colette just spent probably the past, what would you say, 30 minutes to an hour at Prismatic Powders talking yes. about neon powder coat. Oh my God, I cannot wait. I'm gonna do the most insane neon fades and make the best neon yellow color that there's ever been, so. Another day where uh, I haven't really gotten to see the show much. I lost two passes today, so that's a record. We're gonna have to get Thai. What is the Thai food that I like to let them know? Because I, I was not a Thai guy. Pan and curry, curry big and fan. Musselman curry. And Tom oh Kedai. no. Hey. hey. And uh, mm. Tom, Tom Kedai. Tom Kedai. Yo, we are so late because you had to get that photo by the SEMA sign. No, we're not. What are you? Really cool. I had to say hi to Larry Chen, okay? Big yeah. fan. No one can get an Uber, so Vaughn just walked up to a random limo. For, <laughs> for, for, for four of us. Just to get Thai. Man, dude. Good, Ty? You sure we can afford this after that motor that I blew up? I don't know. Can you afford it, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> Only at SEMA. Only at SEMA. All right. <laughs> 
You know, this is how you get in front of the lines in SEMA. You just you got the <laughs> biggest limo ever for four people. And the lights. Is there a back there or what? There is. Let's go. Uh, can, can we, uh, hey look, they even got some drinks pre drank for us. Yeah, hey, we need to send a selfie to the Chelsea's. Nice, okay. One car that I've walked by a bunch of times that keeps catching my eye is uh, more of a hot rod build, but I love the attention to detail and some like the little ornament, ornamentary work, I think is what you call it. I would love to try to learn a lot of these techniques and figure out ways to incorporate them into some of our builds. This metal work looks so cool, but what gets me is the paint job on this car and the amount of layers and like ghost stripes underneath the paint down to the metallic, the layers and the pinstriping. It is absolutely phenomenal. This thing is so neat. And uh, I know I haven't seen a lot of the show, but this thing just keeps catching my eye as I walk by. And then there's stuff like this, which is pretty cool too. We always talk about trying to do this on a drift car to see what it feels like. No idea what this is. But like I said, the weirdest stuff is catching my eye here at SEMA. So cool. Glad's talking to me about the flake. Tell me about the flake. Well, I recently discovered dry flaking, and that's how you get that. We need to do more of that. Flake the compound. I will, flake everything. I'm gonna get a boat, and I'll let you do it to my boat. Maybe a jet ski. Maybe there. maybe a golf cart. And then cars. Not a vehicle for me. Every car. Nope. Yep. It'll be a surprise. Oh, I'll surprise you. You'll have no idea. You'll come home. You'll like that. It's okay. You guys know I've never been a huge wrap guy until I had my first Inozatec wrapped car. The dandelion yellow on the Chaser looks so good. I wound up doing their green on my R32 and they've been absolutely killing it at SEMA. They've been releasing a bunch of new cool colors. I'm fired up on them. The quality, the gloss looks super good. So I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I have at the booth. Never been a huge color shift guy. This color back here. Pretty sure this is Millennium Jade. Just the gloss and the finish. I love the pastel colors too. With the uh, color shift colors, this is about as far as I'll go. I really do love the ghost pearls. It's pretty similar to what I've done on some of the roll cages to where it looks pretty subtle, but in the right light, just has the craziest shine to it. Love this thing. Tiny wheels on coupes hit different. I know these aren't super tiny, but still 16s, the rip. I was actually talking with the owner of the car and found out that he uh, CNC'd a bunch of the parts on his car and they're custom, like slide throttles. He actually made his own wheels. Those wheels that you saw, he made those on his CNC. So pretty cool. A lot of, a lot of neat fabric that I wouldn't have appreciated if I wasn't talking to him. We're headed to a SEMA Awards Banquet. I got nominated for Influencer of the Year. I just had to show off Colette's cool outfit and spiky shoes. Spiky heels run. I'm not making anything happen. <laughs> Really, we're just going to support the boy TJ. He is uh, the, the influencer man, he's the brand man, he's the SEMA man. I'm pretty sure he's gonna, get, he's gonna win it, but we're gonna go the there and support the boy. Please have some fun clear. with everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm nervous, but man, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, I don't know if I can do this one. I actually know a lot of these folks and uh, it's really cool to see the progression of obviously technology, what's going on, the car builds, all this stuff. Content creators, content creators, influencers, loud enthusiasts to a front row seat, a little voyeuristic, right? See kind of a snapshot, it's aspirational. There's some kids that are like, man, I can't believe it. I, I, I've seen it firsthand. They're just like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't. Oh, can I get a, oh, it creep out. It's, it's funny, right? I mean. I know a lot of you did that with Chip earlier, right? You did that with Chip Foose, or you did that with Chris Jacobs. These young um, aspirational people are absolutely awesome. So getting kind of a, a snapshot of their life, I think it's really important and it plays a major role in the progression of SEMA and the aftermarket industry. They're out there, that's where you know, the footprint gets larger. So I think we can all agree that cars are far more than machines. They're truly works of art. They're canvases, and that's why we're here at SEMA. The car is the canvas, and we start to put the paint, the wheels, all that, literally on the vehicle. The very first SEMA Influence Award winner is a master of their craft, sharing our rich automotive culture, uh, you know, traveling all over, and he's actually documented a lot of things, and I see this gentleman all over the world. He's documented the other actual influencers. Creator photographer, he creates video content, his YouTube channel is pushing a half million subscribers and nearly 700,000 Instagram followers, and his Haggerty Media series shares the passion of builders 
and races around the world over. And again, shout out to all those influencers over there that I think you know who it's gonna be. But uh, it's not just about the numbers, it's about the passion. His creative influence is having a significant impact on the industry. I mean, just signed a deal with Intel, he's got a deal with Toyota, he's got a deal with Canon. Um, I officiated his wedding, so I'm really proud of this gentleman. <laughs> and again, his significant impact is absolutely genuine, and I, I'm gonna apologize for him right now, because he literally was sitting on the floor during the, the fifth and third bank cocktail hour in the same garb because, because he just got done working, and he's got, he, not dressed right now for the occasion, but it doesn't matter. This is testimonial to his hard work. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my friend and a very first winner of the SEMA Automotive Influence of the Year Award winner, Master Content Creator, Larry Jett. Larry. You guys have seen this all over social media, but had to get a clip of it in the video. Thoughts? That's ridiculous. What type of guy do you think owns that truck? No, it's a girl. Is it? Yes. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's the whole thing. You didn't. You didn't put that I together. No, I thought that. I was like imagining the most no, douchebaggiest guy on the entire planet. Okay, now that I know that it's a girl that Does drives it. Does it make it, more sense? I like it more. Does it, I just thought it was like some douchebag guy. That's that's no, hard. Just a douchebag girl. Yeah, it's just kind of funny. I know there's no shortage of TJ Hunt wide body content here at SEMA, but I gotta say, kid, you knocked this one out of the park. It looks good. Do you realize that this is the same car at the compound that we were drifting through the puddles? And I know, what a transformation. I actually like the yellow accents. Yeah. Because of the original color. It's cool. It's a Laguna Seca blue, so good color, good wheels, good fitment, beautiful kit. Good job, TJ. Turk always be killing it with the coolest builds too. 3S GTE. Always got killer fabric too. And of course, my favorite seats. It's cool seeing this thing in person too. I was just talking with the owner of this car. It's got a lot of cool little bits that I didn't really notice at first. Kind of like the cover being one piece or the custom uh, catch can fittings back there. Electric AC, some beautiful fab work. See, I already asked him earlier so I can take photos of it. I just, I hate touching other people's cars and especially like with, with my nails. So I'm just going like this. Colette's two favorite so things. He used, you used kitchen hardware, Yeah, so it's right? kitchen cabinet hardware, yeah. Look. I love that. You know, the only thing that would be better, I don't know if you've seen in like the newer Mustangs, how you don't need to unscrew the cap, but you, it has like you a, put, a quick fill. Right yeah, yeah, that yeah. would be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, we that. Make an adapter. Oh yeah, this. I uh, love those. And look at that. That's where uh, that's where you run the power. All the trick oh, bits. The trick yeah. I was jealous of your tip at first because uh, we thought it was a factory thing, and I thought I had the biggest vibrant tip, but it's custom. I lied. Yeah. I was looking for clout. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks awesome though. I love oh, it with I the logo you, on top. Did you immediately notice that though, and you're like, hold, hold up, dude, tell me about this. No, one. they they told oh, me I had the so biggest. Big. They Why? told me I had the biggest tip. <laughs> that's what I've heard. I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. No, you guys did a great job on this. Thank you so much. It's very cool. You can open the door and whatever you want to do. I don't want to touch it. It's too expensive for my blood. <laughs> yeah, it's got garage active floor mats. It's a Hollinger 6 piece of virtual as well. And the motor is uh, 30 straight to a 32? Yes. That's cool. I love these like cover up plates. Yeah, he, he had an R35 and it's like it's inspired behind an R35 or like a 350Z where everything's behind it. Kind of cleans up the engine. Yeah, that's awesome. It kills me because that conversation that we were having with the owner of that GTR is the same conversation I wish I could have with all of these builds here because there's so many cool little features and these little trinkets you'll never appreciate or see. And uh, man, I just wish we had more time. Holy sh! It's Lee. Up, Let me get guys? the SEMA walk oh, around. Show me what's good on this thing. So, I saw you got your 34 wheels on the drift car. Are you crazy? Why are you putting me out there like that? What do you mean? I can't come out here and not look good. So. Yeah, I did the same thing when I had my 15 oh, here. I have okay. my show wheels on it. I didn't drift on those. Yeah, so welcome. Same back. wheels too. Yeah, well, you got the newer version. It's not the same. SP3, you have yeah. SP5. No, I got SP3s, though. Oh, okay. Same. Mine's a shiny. What's new? Uh, I got fresh paint to run into you guys at Clutch Kickers next round, so. We're gonna be out there, but you know, we're here. Fresh new livery, fresh door. Hell yeah, dude. Out here at SEMA, big moves, dude. Trying, trying, trying to be like big dogs. Hell yeah, man. Sweet. It's like, see this thing out here. It may just be another Porsche race car, but 
I love a nice race car livery and this thing I've heard these uh, electric dirt bikes are super rad. They're really expensive, but I've heard they're really fun. Love a nice patina. Damn, even matching. One of our buddies Evo Wagons actually has a one of one Varus kit on it. That's pretty cool. I know. He's like the king of all the cool trinkets. Makes me want to redo my Evo Bay. I love the Garage Active 32 I've seen everywhere. It's got such a crazy crowd right now. I can't even get that, that close to it, but the full carbon Kevlar car painted with a midnight purple paint over it. Very cool. So one interesting thing that uh, I found out about this, it's not actually an RB30 block, it's a 2.6 where they lowered the wrist pin to make it an RB30, which uh, pretty cool. I just found it interesting because I was surprised that HKS would produce an RB30 using like an Aussie used block, um, but they're able to use a new OEM Nissan. I think it's a 24U block and uh, just achieve it from the stroke, I guess. Pretty cool. I really wanted to look at that car closer, but the good news is there's like eight YouTube videos about that car exclusively, so I'll get to uh, find out a little bit more about it, but probably would have been my choice at SEMA, just based on everything I've seen from it. So Colette, believe it or not, I need you to learn to airbrush, because I have a project for you. It's a really weird repair on the wheel well of my car, but if you can airbrush it and make it look like it's weathered, hmm. it's hard to explain, but if you can airbrush. do it... Basically like in the wheel well of my R32, like part of the body color on the interior, it's like faded because they don't spray the full interior, but there's a little surface rust and I don't want to spray it with new color because it never comes new color from the factory. Oh, so just, so just yeah. to like kind of blend it. I can do that. I already have the gun. Cool. It. It'll be a good project to practice on. Yeah. But I if you mess up, I'll cry. I want to learn how to do this. This is so dope. One of my favorite SEMA moments is Chelsea getting stopped. No, they were trying to the... sneak him in, so I made a big scene of it. <laughs> no, he, was, he, got, he got stopped because they thought he was using a girl's pass. I was, I was using my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Do I, does it say spouse? No, it doesn't. Oh, Hers that doesn't would've... say spouse either, though. Oh. I would never put her through that. They're, they're like, Chelsea, is that your name? Yeah, that's right. I'm like... General neutrality. I don't even know that's a word. After SEMA, they have a rollout with all the cars that run. You could tell there's only probably about like 35, 40 cars in the lineup. I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> and here is your abrupt ending to one of the most all over the place SEMA vlogs I've probably ever made. Not gonna lie, I was able to film a lot more than I anticipated with how much I was running around like crazy. It was great catching up with old familiar faces, meeting some new ones, and I'm glad I was able to share somewhat of the experience even though I uh, kind of created a bunch of gaps and clips and stuff that really didn't make sense. But the guys back at home have been wrenching and getting a ton done on the Supra, the FDS-15, the CRX, and Mike's been filming with the crew while I've been gone. So tomorrow, I'm gonna make up for lost time and rather than making you guys wait a bunch of days again, which I'm sorry, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded, uh, I'll have a bang video out tomorrow of all the stuff that's gotten done getting back into it and catching up with what the guys have been up to is a lot and i think you guys are gonna like it so thank you guys and i'll see you soon